السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عبده ورسوله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم A welcome our dear brothers and sisters in Islam أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم Your brother in Islam Bilal Ismail of the Al-Kawthar Institute and Imam Development Project with you for another majlis of ilm another majlis of dhikr another majlis of as learning and understanding the Arabic language walhamdulillah limadha ya abdallah ya amatallah limadha ya sulaiman limadha ya fatima why o oh sulaiman why o oh fatima because we want to understand the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we want to understand the words the ahadith of our nabi muhammad mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam walhamdulillah ya abdallah ya amatallah we are currently in the Medina Arabic syllabus series, we are currently on volume 2 and lesson number 30 insha'Allah. Walhamdulillah, in our previous majlis, we completed lesson number 29, the fi'il mudha'af, and now we move on to lesson number 30. What will we be covering in lesson number 30? Lesson number 30 insha'Allah, we will be covering duels. Kitabani, two books, walhamdulillah. We know that when it comes to duels, you could have the duel in the form of nouns. And so, kitabani, two books. Kitabun is a noun. Kitabani, two books, mashaAllah. Then with regards to pronouns, with regards to pronouns, example, huma, two of them. Hua is he. Hum they, whereas huma, two of them. Anta, you. Antum, you people. Antuma, two of you. Excellent. So we have, we have duels in even the pronouns, mashaAllah. Well, we will also be covering bi idnillahi ta'ala duels when it comes to verbs, inshaAllah. And so, yadhabu, he is going. Ana adhabu, I am going. But as for two of those individuals went, yadhabani, 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 excellent, walhamdulillah. So we will be covering this in lesson number 30, mashaAllah. Yalla, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This lesson in reality is a short lesson. And so, ad-darusu thalathun, lesson number 30. يَقِفُ بِالْبَابِ فتيات فتياني يَقِفُ بِالْبَابِ فتياني There stands at the door two young boys, two youngsters. يَقِفُ يَقِفُ وَقَفَ يَقِفُ To stand. قِف قِف is the stop sign. So you're traveling in the Middle East and you see this red sign and it says قِف قِف meaning stop. Excellent. We have a وَقْف Something is a waqf. This masjid is a waqf. You cannot sell this masjid. You cannot buy it, etc., etc. It's like stationary. Stationary from being bought and sold. Yaqifu bil babi. Stands at the door. Fatayani. Two lads, two youngsters. So who's doing the standing? What is our fa'il? What's our dua here? Who is the dua? These two youngsters. Fa'il is fatayani. Fatayani. But we know generally the fa'il is marfu'. It's supposed to be dhammafied. We say, well, because it's in the dual form, it cannot take an apparent dhamma. And so technically, the sign that it is in the marfu' form is the presence of that alif. The presence of the alif. And why do we have the presence of the alif? Because we are dealing with a word which is in the dual form. So, fatayani, it is a fa'il. Alamatu raf'ihi, and the sign that it is uh, dhammafied, it is marfu'ified, is the alif, because it is muthanna. Muthanna meaning it's in the dual form, walhamdulillah. Uh, the mudarri says, Udkhula, both of you enter, and order, 
فعل أمر أدخل أنت أدخل both of you enter so we have the presence of the we have the presence of the ألف والحمد لله أدخل أدخل excellent ما شاء الله جيد أدخل جميل من أنتما هو both of you who are both of you أدخل من أنتما who are both of you نحن طالبان جديدان we are two new students جديدان إذا ونعت إذا describing word describing طالبان and so we'll follow all the rules of طالبان نحن نحن طالبان جديدان we are two new students مرحبا بكما مرحبا بكما welcome to both of you من أين أنتما من أين أنتما from where are both of you نحن من الصين نحن من الصين we are from China نحن من الصين نحن من الصين we are from China متى وصلتما إلى المدينة المنورة؟ متى وين؟ وصلتما arrived both of you where إلى المدينة المنورة؟ when did both of you arrive in مدينة المنورة؟ جواب وصلنا أمس وصلنا أمس who arrived both of us وصلنا so technically the na is the فاعل is the one did the arriving is the we we arrived who did the arriving we وصلنا أمس we arrived yesterday المدرس أتو أماني أنتما ما شاء الله about of you twins أتو أماني أتو أماني about of you twins تو أمان twins أتو أماني أنتما about of you twins نعم وكيف عرفت ذلك يا أستاذ؟ Yes وكيف عرفت؟ And how did you know؟ كيف how عرفت؟ How did you know؟ ذلك How did you know that؟ يا أستاذ And how did you know that؟ أو أستاذ؟ عرفت من الشبه الذي بينكما عرفت I knew من الشبه From the similarity from the similarity الذي بينكما which is between both of you I knew that due to the similarity due to the resemblance between both of you ما أسماءكما what are both of you names what's you people's names technically we are saying أسماءكما أسماءكما أسماء is the plural one might argue technically we should have said إسماني Ismani, two names. But words where it is generally known as one, the one to it is unique, then in its dual form, we will use a plural. Example, face. You have one face. Well, the dual form of the face will be the plural form. Wuju, wuju, jayit. Similarly, with regards to head, everyone has one head. And so the dual form, it won't be رأساني but rather we will use the plural رؤوس جيد so example وجوهكما both of uh, both of you's faces رؤوس رؤو uh, رؤوسهما رؤوسهما both of their heads رؤوسهما both of their heads جيد so again ما أسماءكما what's you people's names اسمي الحسن وأخي اسمه الحسين my name is Hassan and my brother's name is Hussein ألكما إخوة وأخوات do you people have brothers and sisters نعم لنا أخوان وأختان yes we have two brothers and two sisters لنا أخوان وأختان technically you could have said أخواني وأختاني لنا so that's why لنا technically is our خبر is our خبر and أخواني is our مبتدا excellent لنا أخواني وأختاني we have two brothers and two sisters أما الأخوان فيعملان في مكتب خطوط جوية as for our two brothers فيعملان then both of them work فيعملان both of them work فيعملان both of them work 
فَيَعْمَلَانِ Both of them work where? فِي مَكْتَبِي In the office خُطُوتِ جَوِّيَّةٍ In the airline office جَوِّيَّةٍ Airline Airline office جَوِيَّةٍ وَقَدْ دَرَسَا And both of them have studied When we find قَدْ and it's to do with the past tense, then it's like definite. Qad, such and such, they definitely have done such and such. Whereas if we use the word Qad with regards to the present tense or future, then it's like maybe, maybe. Wa Qad darasa, and both of them have studied, they definitely have studied. Fi ma'hadil lughati in the Institute of Language, hadha, this one here. Qabla sanawatin, years ago. وَأَمَّا الْأُخْتَانِ And as for our two sisters فَتَدْرُسَانِ Then they both are studying فِي الْمَدْرَسَةِ ثَانَوِيَّةِ In secondary school كَانَتْ لَنَا أُخْتَانِ أُخْرَيَانِ مَا تَتَى فِي الصِّغَرِ الله مستعان كَانَتْ لَنَا We had أُخْتَانِ Two sisters أُخْرَيَانِ Two other sisters ما تتا في الصغري They both died in infancy Allah Musta'an So كانت لنا They was for us We had أختاني أختاني Two sisters أخرياني Is our نعت Describing those two sisters To other sisters ما تتا في الصغري They both died in In infancy When they were young المدرس في أي كلية تريدان In which faculty do you people want أن تدرسا To study In which faculty do both of you want to study بعد بعد دراسة اللغة العربية After your studies of the Arabic language Which faculty do both of you want to go and study in After your studies of the Arabic language Hussein says أريد أن أدرسا أريد أن أدرسا I want to study بكلية الشريعة In the faculty of Sharia I want to first study in the faculty of law The faculty of Sharia أما الحسن As for Hassan As for Hassan فيريد See because we brought an أما Because we said أما Then we have to bring a فا Because we used أما Then we have to bring a فا أما الحسن As for Hassan Then he wants فَيُرِيدُ أَنْ يَدْرُسَ Then he wants to study بِكُلِّيَّةِ الْقُرْآنِ الْكَرِيمِ In the faculty of the noble Qur'an وَفَّقَكُمَ اللَّهِ May Allah grant both of you tawfiq MashaAllah Who is the fa'il there? Allah is the fa'il وَفَّقَكُمُ اللَّهُ شاهد Allah grants both of you tawfiq يريد نريد أن نذهب إلى المراقب نريد أن نذهب إلى المراقب we want to go to the supervisor we want to go to the supervisor مدرس says لا تذهب إليه الآن don't go to him now لا تذهب don't both of you go to him إليه الآن to him now فإنه مشغول for verily for indeed for surely he is busy يمكنكما it's possible for both of you أن تذهبا to go إليه بعد انتهاء الحصة it's possible for both of you to go to him after the ending of the lesson يمكنكما أن تذهبا إليه بعد انتهاء الحصة after the ending of this period اذهبا الآن and so the teacher says, اِذْهَبَا الْآنْ Go now إِلَى الْمَكْتَبَةِ To the library or to the bookstore. وَخُذَا الْكُتُبَ الْمُقَرَّرَةَ And take and collect the prescribed books. اِذْهَبَا الْآنَ إِلَى الْمَكْتَبَةِ Go now to the library or to the bookstore. وَخُذَا الْكُتُبَ الْمُقَرَّرَةَ And collect and take what? And take the prescribed books. Walhamdulillah. Khuda is our fi'al amr. It's an order. Khuda. But technically then it should end with a sukun. Because uh, the fi'al amr, it is majzoom. Dhamma fa'id. Khud. Khud. But because we are dealing with a dual, then it would have the alif insha'Allah. Wa khuda. Wa khuda. Excellent. Walhamdulillah. Jameel. تمارين يا مشايخ تمارين إن شاء الله exercises أجب عن الأسئلة الآتية 
أجيب عن ال عن الأسئلة الآتية answer the following answer the following questions من الفتيان من الفتيان who are the two young who are the two young who are the two young lads ما شاء الله من الفتيان who are the two young lads هما طالبان جديدان هما طالبان جديدان they are two new students هما طالبان جديدان Number two, ما أسماؤهما ما أسماؤهما What are their names? What are their names? أحدهما الحس الحسين والآخر الحسن أحدهما One of them is الحسين والآخر الحسن Technically, حسين is the diminutive form of حسن so we have a Hassan and a small version is a Hussein. We have a Sahel and we have a Suhail. We have a Fadl and we have a Fudil. MashaAllah. Number three. Min aina huma? From where are both of them? Min aina huma? Huma min sini Huma min sini Jameel. Number four. Kam akhan wa ukhtan lahuma? Kam akhan wa ukhtan lahuma? Kam akhan wa ukhtan lahuma? How many brothers and sisters do they? Do they have? Kam akhan wa ukhtan lahuma? Kam akhan wa ukhtan lahuma? How many brothers and sisters do they have after kam? We have the word in the singular form and it's man, mansub. Excellent. Lahuma akhawani wa ukhtani. Lahuma akhawani wa ukhtani. Lahuma akhawani wa ukhtani. They have, they have two brothers and two and two sisters. Number five. في أي كلية يريدان أن يدرسا في أي كلية in which faculty يريدان do both of them want أن يدرسا to study جواب أما الحسن أما الحسن فيريد أن يدرسا بكلية القرآن الكريم وأما الحسين فيريد أن يدرسا بكلية الشريعة Excellent Again أما الحسن Because you're using أما So you have to bring a فا أما الحسن فيريد أن يدرس بكلية القرآن الكريم وأما الحسين فيريد أن يدرس بكلية الشريعة Excellent والحمد لله And that's تمرين number one done MashaAllah Let's move on to تمرين number two تمرين نمبر 2 ضعف الفراغ في كل جملة من ال... في كل جملة مما يأتي الفعل ذهب. So they want you to use ذهب past tense بعد إسناده إلى الضمير المناسب and attach it to the appropriate pronoun. أين خالد وحامد؟ أين أين خالد وحامد؟ جواب ذهبا إلى المكتبة. ذهبا إلى المكتبة. أين أين خالد وحامد We say ذهبا إلى المكتبة So they give you the word ذهبا We need to adjust it Because we are talking about two We would say ذهبا إلى المكتبة ذهبا إلى المكتبة Take note at how these past tense verbs are different from Different from nouns Nouns we would say كتاباني كتابيني كتابيني Here we say Zahaba, Zahaba, both of them have gone. Try it. Aina Amina tu wa uhtuha. Aina Amina tu wa uhtuha. Where's Amina and her sister? Jawab. Zahabata, Zahabata ila al mustashfa li iyadati ummihima. Zahabata, Zahabata, Zahabata ila al mustashfa. لِعِيَادَةِ أُمِّهِمَا To visit their mother. ذهبتا إلى المستشفى لِعِيَادَةِ أُمِّهِمَا To visit their mother. And remember, with regards to ziyara, ziyara is when you visit anyone at any place except like the hospital, except the one who is sick. If you visit the one who is in hospital, the one who is sick, the one who is sick at home, etc., clinic, wherever it might be, as long as this is a visit where you are visiting somebody who is unwell, we don't say ziyara, we say iyada, 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 excellent. Number three, aina, 
Aina something amsi ya ikhwanu. Aina something amsi ya akha, not akhwan, ya akhawani. Aina zahab, aina zahab tuma. Aina zahab tuma. Where did both of you go? Amsi ya akhawani. Yesterday, oh, two brothers. Aina zahab tuma. Aina zahab tuma. Where did both of you go? When amsi ya akhawani. Oh, two brothers. And number four. أَإِلَى الطَّبِيبِ or أَإِلَى الطَّبِيبَةِ أَإِلَى الطَّبِيبَةِ to the female doctor ذَهَبْتُمَا يَا بِنْتَانِ أَإِلَى الطَّبِيبَةِ ذَهَبْ ذَهَبْتُمَا ذَهَبْتُمَا أَإِلَى الطَّبِيبِ ذَهَبْتُمَا يَا بِنْتَانِ أَإِلَى الطَّبِيبِ أَإِلَى الطَّبِيبَةِ أَإِلَى الطَّبِيبَةِ ذَهَبْ ذَهَبْتُمَا Ya bintani, correct, naam. Zahab tuma, zahab, zahab tuma. Kameel. And with that, we've covered exercises one and two. Remember, exercise uh, number one, the comprehension questions, and exercise number two, dealing with the past tense verb. Let's move on to exercise number three, where we deal with the present tense and future tense verbs, insha'Allah. So, fi'il mudari'. Let's see. أحمد وإبراهيم something إلى المكتبة كل يوم. أحمد وإبراهيم something إلى المكتبة كل يوم. What? يذهبان يذهبان أحمد وإبراهيم يذهبان إلى المكتبة كل يوم. ممتاز. أين something يا ولداني؟ أين something يا ولداني؟ أين أين تذهبان؟ أين تذهباني Where are both of you going? Oh, two young boys. Number three. الطالب الطالبتان الجديدتان الطالبتان الجديدتان الطالبتان الجديدتان الطالبتان الجديدتان تذهبان الطالبتان الجديدتان تذهبان تذهبان The two the two female students who are new, the two new female students, تذهبان إلى المصلى, about going to the مصلى. And number four, they state here, متى something إلى الصيدلية يا أختاني, متى تذهبان, متى تذهبان, when are both of you going to the going to the صيدلية, صيدلية is, uh, صيدلية is the pharmacist, متى تذهبان إلى الصيدلية متى متى تذهبان إلى الصيدلية يا أختان والحمد لله يا عبد الله يا أمة الله let us take exercise number four إن شاء الله just two sentences here فعل أمر this is the imperative the order let's see يا أخواني أو oh two brothers يا أخواني something إلى المسجد الآن اذهبا this is easy اذهبا الى المسجد الان go to the masjid now number 2 يا بنتاني او oh, two daughters اذهبا الى المكتب المديرة يا بنتاني اذهبا الى مكتبة المديرة الى مكتب المديرة يا بنتاني او oh, two girls اذهبا both of you go إلى مكتب المديرة to the office of the female principal والحمد لله يا عبد الله يا أمة الله that covers exercises 1, 2, 3 and 4 والحمد لله We move on to exercise number 5 إن شاء الله أمام كل جملة مما يأتي فعل مضارع مرفوع أكمل به الجملة بعد تغيير ما يلزم so they require you to change whatever is necessary. Let's see. ماذا يريد الطالبان الجديدان? What do the two new students require? ماذا يريد الطالبان الجديدان? جيد. Let's look at question number one. إن شاء الله. يريدان أن something إلى المهجع. Ah, okay. So they ask you that question. And they give you various options as answers. And some of the answers you need to adjust, or all of them. يريدان أن, they want to. يريدان أن, 
يذهبا إلى المرجع يريدان أن يذهبا أن يذهبا Originally it's يذهباني Originally it is يذهباني Dual of the verb يذهباني But because it is now going to be mansubified It's going to be mansubified because of the lan Then we drop that noon يريداني أن يذهبا يريداني أن يذهبا يريداني أن يذهبا This is what we say This is from the أفعال الخمسة يريداني أن يذهبا إلى المهجع They want to go to the dormitory Number two يريداني أن something كرة السلتي يريداني أن يلعبا يريداني أن يلعبا كرة السلتي يريداني أن يلعبا كرة السلتي Number three يريداني أن something القهوة يريداني أن يشربا القهوة يريداني أن يشربا القهوة يريداني أن يشربا القهوة يريداني أن يشربا القهوة they want to drink the coffee يريداني أن something الأخبار يريداني أن يسمعا الأخبار يريداني أن يسمعا الأخبار أن يسمعا that both of them want to listen to the news يريداني أن يجلس أمام المدرس. They both want to sit in front of the teacher. MashaAllah. And so in all of these examples, because it's mansubified, we drop the, we drop the noon. Walhamdulillah. So we would say that technically it is mansub وَعَلَامَةُ نَصْبِهِ And the sign that it is mansub is the dropping of the noon. حَذْفْ النون. Why? Because it is from the, as, uh, the أَفْعَالْ الْخَمْسَ The أَفْعَالْ الْخَمْسَ InshaAllah. يلا. Exercise number six. أَكْمِلْ كُلْ جُمْلَ مِمَّا يَأْتِي بِضَمِيرْ مناسب. Put in the appropriate pronoun InshaAllah. أرأيت الطالبين الجديدين أرأيت Did you see الطالبين الجديدين طالبين Why? Because it is mansubified طالبان طالبين طالبين أرأيت الطالبين الجديدين نعم رأيتهما رأيتهما Yes, I saw both of them رأيتهما رأيتهما Excellent Number two أقرأت هاتين المجلتين Did you read these two magazines? أقرأت هاتين المجلتين جواب نعم قرأتهما 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 Yes, I read both of them Number three قال المدرس لحامد والصديق والصديقه قال المدرس لحامد وصدي لحامد وصديقه because of the lamb قال المدرس لحامد وصديقه لحامد وصديقه the doctor the teacher said to حامد and to his colleague رأيت قال المدرس لحامد وصدي وصديقه قال المدرس لحامد وصديقه جواب what is the answer رأيت رأيت رأيتكما رأيتكما I saw both of you رأيتكما في المسجد البارحة One more time قال المدرس The teacher said لحامد وصد لحامد وصديقه The teacher said to حامد and his and his friend رأيتكما I saw both of you رأيتكما في المسجد in the masjid البارحة yesterday excellent والحمد لله number four قالت المديرة the female principal said قالت المديرة لزينب to زينب زينب is uh, is a diptot لزينب ومريم to زينب and to مريم أريد أن أسأل أريد أن أسألكما I want to ask both of you أريد أن أسألكما عن I want to ask both of you about بلدكما عن بلدكما about both of you's country Again قالت المديرة لزينب ومريم أريد أن أسألكما 
an baladikuma an baladikuma i want to ask both of you about you peoples you peoples country walhamdulillah ma sha allah exercise number 7 ajib an al as'ila al atiya mata kharaja ahmad wa akhuhu min al fasli when did ahmad and his brother leave from the classroom jawab kharaja ba'da al darsi kharaja ba'da darsi both of them left after the lesson mata dhahabtuma ila makkata mata dhahabtuma dhahabtuma ila makkata when did both of you go to makkah dhahabna fi shahr al madi dhahabna fi shahr al madi we went last month dhahabna fi shahr al madi excellent number 3 ماذا شربت زينب وسعاد ماذا شربت زينب وسعاد what did زينب and سعاد drink جواب شربتا القهوة شربتا العصير شربتا الماء they both drank water they both drank coffee ممتاز the next one Number four. Aina yadrusu hamidun wa khalidun. Aina yadrusu hamidun wa khalidun. Aina yadrusu hamidun wa khalidun. Where studies, aina yadrusu, where studies hamid wa khalid. Hamidun wa khalidun. Jawab, yadrusani, yadrusani bil madrasati thanawiyyati. They are studying in secondary school. Again, أين يدرس ويستديز حامد وخالد؟ جواب يدرسان يدرسان في الجامعة يدرسان في المدرسة الثانوية. They are both studying in the secondary school. They are both studying at university. Number five. ماذا تغسل آمنة وأمها؟ ماذا تغسل؟ Aminatu wa ummuha. What does Amina and her mother wash? Jawab. Taghsilani thiyaba. Taghsilani athiyaba. Taghsilani. They are both washing. Taghsilani athiyaba. Taghsilani athawba. Taghsilani alqamisa. Walhamdulillah. Ta'amal ma yari. Ponder over the following. And these are the af'al al-khamsa. And so we can see clearly here how they adjust themselves. Al-mudari' Then we have, uh, so we have the mudari' marfu' The mudari' in the dhammafied fashion. The mudari' mansub. And the mudari' majzum. So let's see. Yadhabani, two of them are going. We see the presence of the noon. The presence of the noon is indicative of it being marfu', it being in the dhammafied form. Lan yadhaba. Lan yadhaba is the mansub form. Lan yadhaba, and so we drop the noon. And the dropping of the noon is the sign that it is marfu'. Excellent. Then we have lam yadhaba. Lam yadhaba. Technically, this is the majzum form. The sukoon form, if we had a singular there, singular option, it would be lam yadhab. Lam yadhab. Now, lam yadhaba. We say that it is in the form of majzoom, and the sign that it is majzoom is the dropping of the noon. Walhamdulillah. So in the mansub and majzoom form, we drop the noon. Whereas in the marfu form, we bring the noon. MashaAllah. Yadhabuna lan yadhabu lam yadhabu. Lam yadhabu did not go. Lan yadhabu will not go. Tadhabani, tadhabani, lan tadhaba, lam tadhaba. Tadhabuna lan tadhabu, lam Tadhabu. Last one. Tadhabina. Lan tadhabi. Lam tadhabi. Hadihi hi al af'al al khamsa. These are these uh, five uh, verbs, special ones which have these rules. And the i'rab for them is that turfa'u bi thubut an noon. It is marfu' form with the presence of the noon. وَتُنْصَبُ وَتُجْزَمُ بِحَذْفِ النُّونِ And it is mansubified and it is majzumified by the, by the absence of the noon. وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ 
Ya Abdullah, Ya Amat Allah, would that we have come to the end of lesson number 30. Walhamdulillah. Let us take a little bit of vocab, insha'Allah, and then we will take a prophetic maxim, and then we end off this majlis. Walhamdulillah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. A new word, insha'Allah, and that is the word Jaffafa. Jaffa and Jafafan. Jaffa, Jafaf. This means to become dry. Jaff. Jaff, something which is dry, that which becomes dry. We say, for example, uh, Jaffafa tajfifan, tajfifan, to make something dry. Mumtaz. Also, subhanallah, uh, Jaffu tatajafa, Allah mentions in the Noble Quran, Jaffu, this means to like shun something, avoid something. When something is dry, what has left? The witness has now left. Excellent. And so, تَتَجَافَ جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِعِ Allah mentions in the Noble Quran, تَجَافَ تَجَافَ means to like separate from something, to shun something, to avoid something. And these people, تَتَجَافَ جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِعِ They shun, they, 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 what's this, their sides, shun away the beds. These people, they wake up from the sleep and they perform salah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's like they shun the beds. They shun the beds. And so they sleep little and they pray, walhamdulillah. Jildun, jildun means skin, can also mean leather. Uh, jalada means to whip. Jalada means to whip. And mujalladun, mujalladun is like a book which is bound up uh, or a volume. Majallad, majallad. Number one, Majallat, number two, etc. Uh, jalasa, obviously, we know that. That means to sit. Ajlasa ijlasan means to make someone else sit. To make someone else sit. Ajlasa fulan. He made fulan sit. Jamil. Jalil. Jalil is something great, something which is revered. We say Allah. Uh, Jalla Jalaluhu. Jalal. Jalal is like majesty. Majesty. Jayid. And uh, to make ijlal of so and so. This brother, he came and they made ijlal of him. Ijlal means, means to honor, to honor the individual. Walhamdulillah. Ya Abdullah, ya Amat Allah, a prophetic maxim bi idhnillahi ta'ala. Our Nabi, your Rasul, our Habib Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has stated the hadith, innama nasu kal ibil al People are like the camel like like hundreds of camels, like 100 camels, right? The continuation of the hadith that not every camel you are able to ride. Not every one of them are worthy of riding. People are like, like how you have 100 camels. Not all of them are suitable. Not all of them are good for you and appropriate for you to ride. What does this hadith mean? It means, subhanallah, that even though you have so many people out there, hundreds and thousands of people, but the ones who really stand out, the ones who really carry the worry of the ummah, the ones who really make an effort and they strive, and they are the ones who stand out from the crowd, the leaders from amongst them, the, 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 the shakers and the turners, they are very few. They are very few. So from these like hundred camels, not all of them are worthy of being ridden on. Not all of them are appropriate. And many of them are not so good for riding. Jayid, Allah musta'an. Many people can run. How many people win, you know, the Olympics and uh, uh, win, the, win the races? Very, very, very few. Many participate. Winners are few. Many participate. Winners are few. Excellent. We find in the Noble Quran, Allah mentions, وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَشْكُرُونَ Most people do not make shukr. وَإِن تُطِعْ أَكْثَرَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يُضِلُّكَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ If you, the Nabi, obey most of the people on earth, you will be turning away from the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِيَّتَّبِعُونَ إِلَّا ظَنَّ وَإِنْهُمْ إِلَّا يَخْرُسُونَ 
وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ And most people don't believe. Most people, they don't believe. Subhanallah. وَمَا أَكْثَرُ النَّاسِ وَلَوْ حَرَسْتَ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ And most of them don't accept even though you are exerting yourself with regards to them. وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنْ عِبَادِي يَشْشَكُورُ And very few of Allah's servants make shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, those who do, they are few. Those who believe, they are few. Jayid, excellent. In comparison to the inhabitants of the hellfire, the people of paradise, they are much fewer in number. And so, Ya Abdullah, Ya Amat Allah, this hadith teaches us, number one, that uh, we should personally ourselves try to be from amongst those who are the leaders, those who are the movers and the shakers, those who take the risk, those who are there in the front line, walhamdulillah. So that's on a personal note. Also, we should recognize those around us who have these qualities and assist them and help them and try to polish up those, uh, those qualities of them, of those, of, of them, uh, those uh, characteristics that they have. Try to develop those characteristics. We find that, uh, Allah mentions in the Noble Quran, فَلَوْلَا نَفَرَ مِنْ كُلِّ فِرْقَةٍ مِّنْهُمْ If from, uh, the parties that go out in battle, a group of them, they remain behind and they don't go out to fight. Why? What are they doing? They are studying and they are learning. لِيُنذِرُوا قَوْمَهُمْ إِذَا رَجَعُوا إِلَيْهِمْ So that they will advise, they will teach, they will admonish the people when they return from the battle. So you require some people to go out and study. We require people for different uh, for different job profiles, etc. In the end, this hadith, Ya Abdullah, Ya Amat Allah is telling us that, that not all people are the same. Not all people are the same. And the leaders from amongst them, and the ones who will stand out from amongst them, they are few in comparison to the number that doesn't do so. Lazy ones are many. Lazy ones are many. Those who have excuses are too many. Those who are lazy, they make excuses, they don't put in the effort, etc. They are many. And the opposite they are few. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from amongst those few who are the opposite, who are the worthy ones. Walhamdulillah. Until we meet again. Ya Abdullah, Ya Amat Allah. Remember, if your knowledge is above average, then your ibadah, your akhlaq, your character, your manners, your behavior, your relationship, they are also supposed to be above average. We ask Allah for tawfiq. We ask Allah to accept from us. We ask Allah to grant us knowledge which is beneficial and not knowledge which is not beneficial. Hada, hada وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عبده ورسوله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته